What's happening everybody, the poets here. Hope you're doing well and staying safe. It's kind of crazy out there, but what we're gonna be doing here is something interesting for Deep Blue, the next upgrade. And I have been waiting anxiously for this one. This is the Samsung, oh, the 980 Pro. This is the PCIe 4.0 NVMe M.2 SSD with 7,000, almost 9,000, 7,000 megabytes per second read speeds. So if you're a gamer, this means nothing. Don't get this for gaming. Please don't get this for gaming. If you're a 4K, 8K video editor, some type of other workstation use, yes, this is for you. So what I have to do for Deep Blue basically is drain the loop real quick. So I'm just gonna show you how I quickly do that. Uh, if I wasn't recording, this would take me maybe 15, 20 minutes easy because all I have to do is pop off the front, uh, drain the loop, take out the graphics card, install this, and I'm gonna install this little temperature sensor as well onto the motherboard. Um, put the graphics card back in, fill the loop, leak test. Leak testing is really what's gonna take the longest. So, I don't know, maybe a couple hours for that. But, uh, let's get started. You're gonna see me kind of maybe do some more cable management in the back. And uh, let's get going, because my arm's getting tired. So we might as well do an unboxing. Tear this to shreds. If you're not familiar with my unboxings, I pretty much do the uh, best unboxings ever. There we go. That's the beauty right there. 980 Pro. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. That's a beauty. Samsung 980 Pro PCIe 4.0 NVMe M.2 drive, 7,000 megabytes per second read speeds. All right.
right, everybody. So that's pretty much it in terms of how I install an M.2 drive in Deep Blue here. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Just for this example, take out the graphics card, take out the riser cable just to make my life a little bit easier. Uh, I did rearrange some of the, uh, the fan headers uh, because I have two pumps here. So I put both pumps into their own slots on the motherboard uh, so I can kind of control them independently, but they're always going to go at the same speed. I have two pump res combos. These are the EKWB uh, D140, or I think it's 140 millimeter um, uh, pump res, milliliter uh, pump res combos. Uh, because of redundancy and there's just kind of a lot of restrictions as you can see here So I just wanted to make sure that I was at the optimal flow rate Plus uh, I am going to be taking out all the storage eventually uh, and putting in a second system in here So that's going to be kind of nice. So each pump will be dedicated to its own system as well So overall now it's just bleeding it. You know the leak testing should be pretty straightforward because I only took apart this part right here and this part right here there's nothing immediate and they fit snug. When it comes to these uh, EKWB fittings, um, and actually I think this one is a bits power fitting, so I wanted to kind of match some things up. Uh, you know when they're in there, they just kind of go like, like they, it's, it's apparent. Uh, if you don't think it's in there, it's not in there. Huh. Yeah, all right, just wipe that from your mind. But you know when these tubes are in the fittings. All right, let's just put it that way. Uh, but that comes with experience. When I first started doing hardline tubing, it was mm, kind of hit or miss. So before I even put stuff into the system, I would test things outside of the system. Like even today, I still leak test outside of the system uh, because it just alleviates any type of worries or anything. All right. So once all of this is done with the uh, bleeding, because I want to get all the air out of the system, I'm going to tip it a couple of times. And um, once that's done, then you'll notice that there's a power supply hiding back here. That's powering the pumps right now. So whenever you're filling a system and, and leak testing and bleeding, ideally you want to have a second power supply just powering the pumps. Uh, and so check out some of my previous YouTube videos when I basically showed how to leak test these pumps and you'll see that I have a second uh, or basically a standalone power supply that actually has a little jumper on it that makes it think that it's plugged into a motherboard. So it's kind of tricking it as well. So this Samsung 980 Pro, I'm gonna test it. So basically I'm just gonna cut right here and go into Future Self where we're gonna show some of these speeds on the 980 Samsung NVMe or PCIe 4.0, they need to come up with better names. It's fast. It's almost 9,000 megs per second. Well, okay, it's 7,000. I think I have a black Sharpie somewhere. All right, cut to future self. All right, everybody, it's my future self. And uh, yeah, this Samsung 980 Pro PCIe 4.0 NVMe M.2 drive, one terabyte, is ridiculous. So I did some uh, speed tests using the Samsung Magic software. I think it's called um, Samsung Magician. There you go. Um, yeah, it was hitting over 7,000 megabytes per second read speeds and uh, just over 5,000 megabytes per second write. Absolutely ridiculous. Not for gamers, all right? Uh, if you put a game on this or say like the Samsung 970 uh, Plus or even a, um, an 860 Evo, you're not gonna see any difference in your gaming all right so this is for workstation tasks this is for video editing like on 4k um, 8k video editing any other type of um, uh, true tasks that you're going to be hitting this really really hard uh, so be mindful of that don't buy this just because hey it's a new shiny and one of the fastest drives around that you can buy uh, no buy this because it's going to make sense for your workflow not your gaming needs all right so as an example, I have DaVinci Resolve up here on the screen, and I can set my cache files and my, and my gallery files to this drive. So when I'm running like optimized media, basically a pre-render uh, for any of my 4K video content, it's gonna be hammering this really, really nicely. It's gonna be saving me a lot of time. And then as I'm uh, basically editing in real time 4K, it's all going to be on this drive specifically. So I'm not even putting my operating system on this. My operating system is on, a, I think it's a 970 plus uh, by Samsung. 
more than more than fast enough. That has like 3,500 megs read and, and write speeds or something like that um, around that speed. But this is more than twice as fast. So perfect for 4K and 8K video editing. So that's about it, everybody. If you uh, like this style of content, smash the like button. And I would really appreciate it because the YouTube algorithm loves seeing that like button. And of course, if you want more, you know, hit that subscribe button. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have any questions on stuff like this, on how I drain and refill Deep Blue. You saw it was a very simple, very easy process. Uh, once you know what you're doing with water cooling, uh, you get it done very, very quickly. It's just planning ahead, loop planning ahead. Meaning I designed Deep Blue so that when I want to drain and fill it, it's extremely simple. I, I don't have to do much tilting or and, and try to get water out of it, no. It's just the drain valve, pretty much everything just flows right out. I'll uh, blow a little bit of pressure in here in the uh, top uh, pump res combo, and that just forces everything out. Done. And then start unhooking everything, put everything back in. Easy peasy. So um, thank you everybody, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.